Welcome to Oxford. We want you to enjoy your time here. This will involve some serious work, as well as having a great time living as a member of your college and the university. Potentially, the most serious risk to student safety is fire, particularly the smoke from a fire. Whether or not this is your first year at university, whether you are living in college or private accommodation, please give close attention to this film. Regardless of which college you belong to, it covers the main fire safety issues. During my time with Oxfordshire Fire and Rescue Service, I have been to many fires, and some of these fires have had some very severe and unfortunate outcomes. Fire does not discriminate, nor does it have a timetable. Your college has invested significantly, installing fire safety devices which are there to detect fire in its early stages, allowing you to get out of the building safely. You now need to be aware of the college's emergency evacuation plan and how it works for all the areas of the college you visit. When the alarm sounds, you should know where you need to go at all times. There will be more than one route to safety. Make sure you know them all. Any student who is in need of assistance because of difficulty with mobility, hearing, sight, or for any other reason, should contact their college, where a personal plan for evacuation in the event of fire or emergency can be agreed. So what causes fire? The answer is usually people. The most common cause of fire in colleges is cooking. Never leave any cooking unattended and always make sure the kitchen door is kept closed. Cook only when you are alert, not when you are affected by medicine or alcohol. It might be safer to stop at the takeaway after a night out, rather than risk cooking in college. Another common cause of fire is smoking or candles. Check your college's policy so you know what is allowed and what is not. The policy is there to keep you and others safe. Smoking indoors is banned by law, and naked flames are probably not permitted in your accommodation either. This is because they can so easily start a fire. If you need to smoke in the college, you must find an authorised place to do so. The use of unsafe electrical equipment or overloading of the electrical supply can also cause a fire. All movable electrical equipment should be tested regularly for safety. A portable appliance or PAT test. You should always visually check any equipment before plugging it in to make sure it's not broken especially if it is often moved around. If equipment is broken, don't use it. If the socket is damaged, don't use it and report it to your college. Even if the electrical equipment is in good condition, it should only be used as it's intended. Electric heaters are not designed for drying clothes. Lamps are not designed for hanging decorations from. Don't use multi-adapters or coiled extension reels. Use strip adapters with fuse protection in them. They're safer and cannot overload electrical sockets. Don't forget to switch things off at the wall when you leave. Batteries and chargers can catch fire if they're left plugged in. College rules are there for a reason. Having cooking equipment or smoking in your rooms will trigger the fire detection system, creating a false or unnecessary alarm. When we receive a call to an automated fire alarm in university accommodation, we respond like it's a real fire and people's lives are in danger. We have to. This means we send fire engines from across Oxford through heavily populated areas to get there as quickly as they can. This means we can't use those fire engines for other more serious fires or potentially car accidents in the area. We would have to send fire engines from outside Oxford who will take longer to get there when every second could count for the person in danger. Fire alarms are essential to protect you and the buildings that you use. However, false alarms can cause serious danger. We expect you to use fire alarms responsibly and respond accordingly. However, make sure false alarms are not your fault. False alarms put firefighters and other people in real danger. So what should you do in the event of fire? If the alarm is raised either by someone else or by a fire detector being activated, close windows and doors. Leave quickly and safely by the nearest available fire exit. Don't rush, don't dawdle. Get out and stay out. Go to the assembly point. Tell whoever you need to that you are safe. 
Report anyone you know is missing in accordance with the plan. Wait to be told what to do next. If you discover a fire, don't try to tackle it unless it's very small and you know it's safe to do so. If you know how to use a fire extinguisher, find the nearest correct type and apply it. If you are in any doubt, just close the door and leave. Raise the alarm. You can typically easily do this by breaking the glass in a call point on your way out. Be prepared to answer questions clearly if you are asked for details later. Hi, my name is Dr. Gijs van Wachsel. I was an Oxford graduate and I'm now a surgeon. In the past year, there were 300 fatalities secondary to fire and 8,000 severe burns. The primary reason for most of these deaths was being overcome by gas and smoke. Cooking appliances accounted for 50% of all fires and a further 10% were attributed to smoking. 80% of students admitted to taking risks whilst living in university accommodation, such as drunk cooking or drying their clothes on heaters. As a doctor, I've now witnessed many injuries secondary to burns. One student I remember very clearly, sadly, lost the vision in one eye due to a burn. Yeah, I wish I'd taken my wallet with me and other useful things, uh, but I, I didn't think about going back. Get to know the evacuation procedure for your building. In residences, notices in all the bedrooms give this information. Always, always get out of the building whenever you hear the alarm sound. We can never be 100% safe, but by addressing the issues raised in this film, we hope that the risk to you from fire will be reduced and you can get on with enjoying the time of your life at university safely. I hope you've been paying attention. Don't be our next call out.